The play dagger in the gunman strong nasty formation in the Colts offensive playbook is one of the best plays in Madden 25. If you guys want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, make sure to join the school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. I'll put a link to that in the description below. That's where we get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks for Madden 25 and for college football 25. We've got a ton of content in there already, and we're going to be dropping more as we speak. We literally are basically dropping content in there right now every single day. So if you're not a school community member yet, make sure to join that. The link is in the description below. Now the setup for this play is you're gonna call this play and here's what I want you to do. You're gonna call this with your bunch to the wide side of the field and you are going to put your slot receiver on a crosser and you are gonna snap the ball as fast as you possibly can. Your first read is always a streak and then you have this high-low read between your crosser and this little underneath drag route. The high-low read is why you call this play. It's why this play is super hard to guard because it is a cross-field concept that is going to attack across the field. I call this kind of like a Y-cross style of concept. If you look at where the routes actually end up attacking, they're going to be really effective in terms of you have a high-low to the left, and then you have this kind of backside dig route if they do chase the crosser. A lot of times what people are going to do in this is they are going to uh, maybe try to to create different coverages. I'll show you this against cover two real quick. So if they do run a cover two coverage on you, you're gonna wanna look for this drag normally. This drag is super good against cover two because that cloud is oftentimes gonna drift back. But in this game, another thing that I wanted to show you is that cloud flats, typically they, even if you shade a cloud flat over the top, cloud flats don't get back and they definitely don't get to the sideline. So if you wait on this crosser, you can throw this over the top for a big play over the top of the defense. So you are able to beat cover three with this play. You're also able to beat cover four. Typically in a cover four coverage, they're going to be playing hard flats. If they do play hard flats here, your main read is again going to be this crosser. And you just see how open this crosser gets in this game. Now, another thing that's going to happen is eventually what they're going to do is they're going to be tired of you throwing a crosser route, crossing route on every single play. So they're going to go user it with their user on the right hand side. So if they do go user that, that's where you want to look backside and throw this backside side in route to Travis Kelsey. Now this backside in route is really interesting because it is kind of like a delayed in route. So it's going to get into a really nice spot on the field. Let me see if I can show this to you again. Let me actually pinch my dot D line so there's no random bumping here in practice mode. But you see where he's going to kind of get into this like trailed in route. Super good route. It's basically a check down. Essentially what I like to do and what I like to tell people is you're always going to peak this left side. And a lot of times in this game, the seam streaks are really, really good both against man and zone in this game. So let's talk about what are you gonna do if they do go ahead and play some man coverage. So if you do get man coverage, I think man coverage at the start of the year is always really effective. You wanna have man beating routes. You have a lot of things on here that can actually win against man coverage. First and foremost, do you see how this fade route, you can, if he does not get pressed, you can just pass lead this inside and basically cut it off and use or catch it against the defense. So that's the first thing that I like to look for. I always like to peek this fade route, see if this is open, if he gets separation. Uh, and then I'm looking for my drag and then again my crosser. So right there, my drag was taken away by Sauce Gardner. He just basically played good man coverage. Cover two man is typically going to take away some of the underneath routes, but you should have this crossing route over the top. So you see here, if we just ha have some time, this crossing route is going to get over the top. I got to bend that a little bit more in your freeform settings. Make sure your freeform is on placement and accuracy with a pass lead increase of none and 15 out of 20 or 20 out of 20. So you see Hassan Riddick is actually just going insane, even though you're not supposed to be able to get sheds in this game if you rush three. In practice mode, for some reason, the sheds are absolutely roided. So I'll show this to you again. This is why man coverage is always so good at the beginning of the year because the bumping is just insane here. There we go. There's a little bit more bend on the ball. And you see that we're able to beat man with that crossing route. Now let's say that they're playing a cover zero coverage. This is a super cool tip. So let's say that they are playing a kind of a cover zero coverage. And what we're going to do to kind of illustrate this is I'm just going to put two purples out here. And then we're just going to shade our coverage over the top. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of a similar to like a cover, cover zero shell. Uh, what you'll see with this fade, though, is this fade will actually bomb the cover zero coverage. And so you're able to manipulate that coverage with that uh, deep fade route. So all you got to do is he's just going to get a step on the guy because he's not going to get jammed and you're going to have that. So they're going to go back to zone coverage, which really this play is super hard to defend in, in zone. It's hard to defend in man and you can't match it because we're in a quads formation, which is why the bunch strong and nasty is such a good offense in this game. So if you guys want to check out the rest of this Colts offensive ebook, make sure that you join the school community. The link is in the description down below.